Hello, my name is Bond, Laser Bond 009. Good morning and welcome to my laser cut studio. And in today's video, some test cutting. I'm going to use various materials and show you some examples. But before we go ahead, I've got a little package to unbox. This is the package. I don't know if this is the first one or the second one. I'll check the tracking numbers later on. The first one I ordered got lost in the post. So this arrived today and I'm very happy about it. I don't know if any of you can guess what it is, but, but let's open it and you can see. You guessed it right, this is a aluminium aluminum honeycomb bed for the laser. Now, in my opinion, this should have come with the laser cutter in the first place. Anyway, you can't do without. I'm going to put four feet on it. To raise it and make it adjustable so we can level it out. Now this is very important for cutting. And then also I'm going to add four or six little clamps to clamp down your material. And a good example of that is 1.5 millimeter plywood. It doesn't stay flat. Now what happens if it starts, if you do engraving on it, it starts getting warm and it buckles and that disturbs your focus point. So very important. Number one, adjustable feet to level it. The adjustable feet will also be long enough to raise it off the ground for airflow. Very important. And then six clamps to clamp your work down. I'll show you quickly. <laughs> While I was waiting, I had to make a plan. And I'll show you quickly how I started. This one you saw in the second video. I took 5mm MDF. Or as some people call it, super wood. And I put 15 nails in it just to raise the work off the surface. Now, I made something else as well, which I'm going to continue using for paper cutting. Now, if you use the honeycomb for paper cutting, if the paper lies flat on the honeycomb and all the little bits where it makes contact, it's going to back burn and burn the, op the, the back side of the paper, which you don't want. Let me show you the other base that's inside, so I'll have to quickly take it out. And this is it. So I've used, I've checked pop rivets and I've I've checked them and measured them, they're all the same length. So if you if you can see all the holes and there's no shortage of pop rivets, so you can adjust them and move them around as you please. Now when you're cutting paper, I'll show you an example. I'll use this one. Let's say, for instance, you're doing a Christmas card, and let, let's say there's your Christmas card. So you don't want it to burn on the back. As you can see, there's no burns whatsoever. You'll space your spaces, maybe one in the center 
add a few around so it doesn't fall through while it's cutting and then your end result you won't have any back burns from the bottom let me show you a few examples now this is three millimeter plywood you can actually go online and put in your measurements you can tell it with a lid or without a lid what type of joints you want it will calculate it and produce a, a little plan a DXF file or whatever you you need and you can import it into your cutting program and use it so this was one of the very first ones I cut with a lid and this can be very handy for a pen order you can put your case your pen case in the pen box and it says there with compliments creative custom pens I'll show you another example exactly what I explained there and there's the pen box inside and you can personalize it so if the customer wants a name maybe a gift to someone or his company logo and name that can be engraved on there put in the box wrapped in bubble wrap and shipped He has a double pin case. Now I use this one just to test to see how it's going to engrave. And look at that. Absolutely unbelievable. It clashes a bit with the grain of the wood. But if you have a closer look, the pattern is nice and clear. So in between there you can put a person's name. Or change the design totally whatever the customer wants okay those are pin box examples and then rulers i did a few rulers this is one on four millimeter plywood and then this is one on i think 3.8 acrylic look at that how accurate is that the next example this is also three millimeter plywood I made a beard comb Christmas is coming up so if you put a whole gift box together this can be part of it and a very nice Christmas gift. I'll show you one more example. Now this needs a bit of work. This was a test but it worked. I used acrylic plus three millimeter plywood and that works perfect. Luckily I have a beard to test it and I'll tell you now, it works. Next example, I made some key holders. So I've done one with my logo in the center. I'll bring this one a bit closer. How nice is that? When somebody does an order, you can put one of these in as a as a gift so it's a nice corporate gift idea next example I use this as a test cut 4 millimeter plywood I tested the writing and then the engraving and then I cut this one this is an old ship 
size of a coaster so you can make a whole set of coasters. Talking about gifts, there's a little gift box if you want to maybe surprise your wife with a little ring or a necklace. You can put some wood wool in there or even or even a nice soft piece of material and put a necklace in there. Swivel lid with an A on, but plenty space to put a personal message. Next example. This was a test cut. And this is four, in four millimeter leather. Once again, I tried the writing and then the engraving. Very excited about that. I mean, as you saw in my cobbler's video, I'm looking at doing some leather work because I can complement the engraving with the leather. And here's an example. This was the very first piece of leather work I have ever done. Not too bad for the first try. I gave it an old rustic look. And I'm not too worried about the leather work. It's the engraving on the leather work that I'm focusing on. Okay. Acrylic work, um, I made this as a, a company logo advertisement. Creative custom pens. Let me just put this under there to deliver it out of it. That's a good advertisement, especially when you're doing in a display or if you've got a stall going. I'm, I'm sure at a distance this will attract people. There's an example of a pen. And then you've got a remote and you can do all sorts of colors. Actually like the white you can let it fade nice actually you must see this in the dark works very well but that's just another example of what you can do with a laser cutter. These bases with the remote you buy on Amazon. You get yourself some acrylic and the options are endless. You can do from Spider-Man right through, now that I see the green, right through to a Christmas tree. Okay, and then the last few examples Just move this one side. Once again, Christmas gifts, birthday gifts. Some crosses. Especially for the younger generation. The nice thing is this can be personalized. You know, when two, two people are in love, it means a lot. If you love music, there's a little heart with some music notes on. Some more key holders.
That is the yin yang dragon. Just a plain heart. Waiting for initials. And then the tree of life. There's three different examples. They haven't been cleaned. They need to be scrubbed in water without scratching them and then just clean with a bit of, a bit of acrylic polish. You can use brass or whatever. That's just engraved. Also the tree of life. Exactly the same as the others. These are just engraved. The difference is using a bitmap and using a DXF file. Or on your settings, you either cut or scan. Another example, 3mm plywood with a fold cut and this is a napkin holder. This can be personalized, a flower pudding, something to do with Christmas, whatever. And just the, the options are absolutely endless. Bookmarks, if you want to do bookmarks. This can also be personalized. And then lastly, I put this to the test. The round engraving stepper motor. And let me tell you, I was quite impressed. It works very well. There's a bit of a secret to it. I'll show you. I've got three examples. I just found this online, Bruce Lee. Now, if you look at the aspect ratio, it's absolutely perfect. There's another example. Exactly the same, and then there's a dragon. Now I said something about there's a little bit of a secret involved. Now this is the very first one I did. If you look at the aspect ratio, it is out. Now depending on what version of RD Works you're using, I'm using version 8.110 and in this version it gives you the option to calculate your measurement. You have to turn this counterclockwise because of the position of your bed and then your upright measurement. The calculation gives you a measurement you need to add to the upright. And then when you use that and you cut, you get the perfect aspect ratio. Anyway, but I think a whole separate video on that because it's so interesting. And those are all my examples so far. I think I've done a lot of or enough tests so now it's time to actually do a few jobs and the best way to practice to do jobs is to do Christmas gifts. What a learning experience this has been. And before I finish off just a few up updates on setting up your laser cutter I used distilled water. I start I actually Believe it or not, I couldn't find distilled water anywhere. And then I found a company in Wicklow. 
the only company in Ireland so far I've found that sells distilled water. So I was desperate, so I used the ionized water to start off with. Wasn't ideal, but a temporary measure. Got my distilled water yesterday and changed the water and I'm happy about that. That was the distilled water. The two front panels inside, I mentioned that maybe it's for airflow. It could also be to make it accessible to do maintenance, especially the front. There's some bolts and adjustments you can do. So it's not just for airflow, it's for maintenance as well. Those are the two updates. Get that in, there we go. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button. Any questions, any comments, any suggestions, anything I might have gone wrong and I need correction, please let me have them in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the notification bell for more videos like this. And the big one, please subscribe. And until the next time, happy laser cutting. Laka laka.